Hi, this is Jared with Backwoods Animation, and I'm going to show you how to rig up some hands. So I realized in my last tutorial, I forgot to put the hands in. I did everything else, um, and I was going to jump into the face and the head, but I realized I don't have hands. So I'm going to show you how to do the hands real quick. Um, it's a really simple process, and the, the first thing that we're going to need to do is, one, design the hand and create it. So I've already done that, and I'm going to show you how I set it up. So in my hand comp, essentially I just use I use uh, the shape layers, and so I have this this line stroke here, and I create all the fingers out of different line strokes, and I keyframe each line stroke in the position that I want. So I've keyframed everything to be this way. So this is an open hand. And then going into frame two, this is more of a natural open hand. And you just go forward and keyframe all the different shape layers into different hand positions that you need. Um, and you don't have to do it this way. If you have, you know, 12 different assets of hands that you've created in Illustrator or Photoshop, you can import them here and do them as uh, individual layers in, a, in sequential order. This way is nice and I like it because I can set up an expression control to where I can now animate the hand smoothly from pose to pose. And I'll show you how to do that here in a second. So we just have all these different different hand shapes. Um, and you can make these as complex or as simple as you want. Um, it's really up to you. And so once you have all these set up, you come back into your composition and then you put the comp, the hand comp where you need it. Mine's really big, so I'm going to scale it down to a more proper size. So let's say that this is good. I'm going to put this behind the controller. I'll actually put it up here. Whoops. Let me move this up. All right, so you want the rotation you want the rotation to be pretty natural. Um, so in the hand comp, I set up a circle right in the middle and I, I extruded the fingers out from the circle because I knew that this would give me a good rotation point to where when I move the hand, everything's going nicely around that circle. So I want to line this center point of that circle up to roughly the center point of my wrist control. And then once I do that, I'm just going to, let's see, this is the right wrist. I'm going to attach it to right wrist. Where is it? Did I pass it? Oh yeah, here it is. Attach it to my right wrist. So now this way, when I move my hand, it's connected. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add an expression control to this wrist controller. So with the wrist controller selected, I'm going to add a slider control. And I'm going to call this one um, left. Oh, that's this is the right hand. Right hand pose, and hit enter. Uh, then I'm going to find that controller. I'm going to open up that expression control, and then I'm also going to come down to the hand that I just created. And then on the hand, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to add an enable time remap. And once it does that, it opens up the stopwatch. Just alt click on the stopwatch, and then it's going to give you the pick whip. Then you're going to take that pick whip all the way to the top, and you're going to attach it to your expression control right here at the slider. This now needs to be extended to the full length of the comp so we don't lose it and now when we go into our control our wrist control we're gonna see that the fingers move but they disappear so we're gonna go roughly to the end of the comp somewhere around here we're gonna edit the value so we know that 0 0.7491 is too far so let's do point I don't know point six 
and see how that does. All right, so that's just too far. So it looks like 0.55 is where we want to hit. So now we're going to go 0.55. And now we have a full range of animation. Look at that. So everything animates smoothly. It looks nice. Um, it's a really, I, I found it's a really great way to do it. And if you guys know a better way, let me know. Otherwise, this is the most simple and the most effective way that I've found. Um, and the great thing is now we can just duplicate the hand, hit scale, and we're going to do, uh, we're going to go negative on this axis. And we're just going to put this one where the green one goes. Um, and then we'll attach it to left wrist. We don't want we don't want the time remap to be connected to this controller because we might want to animate the hand separately. Or if you want the animates to hand animate the same way, great, you're set up, everything looks good. But we want to add this controller to or sorry, this expression. So control C that expression and then go to the left wrist and we're gonna paste it. So control V. And then now with this setup, we have to connect this new hand that we copied to um, the, the other controller. The one way you can do it, you can do the pick whip and go up, or you can just come, whoops, or you can just come right here. And we know that it's the left wrist, not the right. And you can just type in L. And it sets it up for that one. So now they, in, they animate independently. All right, and so that's the basic setup for my hand, my hand rig, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, comment, tell me what you thought. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.